Mr. Higgins is enjoying the cool breeze on the mighty Mississippi. Right here at the Chain of Rocks Bridge. And just enjoy your day, Mr. Higgins. Enjoy it. Now, Missouri isn't one to be taken not seriously. And so they have the largest Amoco sign in the entire world. It looks about 60 or 70 feet tall. Maybe even bigger than that, maybe like 100 feet. But you can see the cars here. This car is directly underneath. That's how big it is. Impressively large. I'm just gonna say that out loud. Because if I didn't say it out loud, then you'd be going, I wonder what Percy's thinking. Probably thinking about that sign. Largest Amoco station in the world, St. Louis, Missouri. It's been a long day of driving for me and Mr. Higgins. And really there isn't a ton to see here in Missouri. If you look here, we're gonna stop off for a quick bite to eat at Lewis's Cafe, St. Clair, Missouri. It's about 30 or 40 miles outside of St. Louis. It's a whole lot of saints in Missouri. While some gas stations along 66 have been restored to what they were, buildings like this, this was a Phillips 66, which is now the four-way restaurant, gets turned into different things. It preserves the building, but not necessarily exactly what it was in the heyday of Route 66. They're open Wednesday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. They are right here in Cuba, Missouri. There's nothing, nobody in Cuba who's gonna be like, no, you can't have a cigar, or you can't have freedom. Your cars aren't going to be from 1955 unless you want them to be. Again, on Route 66, what better way to drive it than in a convertible from 1955? That's the way to do it, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, Phillips 66 on Route 66. Mr. Higgins and I knew we were running a little bit late today. We stopped over at Merrimack Caverns. We thought they might close at around 7.30. Uh, those are summer hours. That's a bummer. Close at 5. The campgrounds are still open over there. You can camp for $18. You can't beat that on Route 66. So you just wanna pull over and say, hey, I'm gonna camp here, 18 bucks, go on in. Down the road, we have the Jesse James Wax Museum, which is also closed. The Jesse James used to hide out in Merrimack Caverns. That's why it's so close. Mr. Higgins hides under my covers whenever the lightning storms. Right next door to Jesse James Wax Museum, right down the street from Merrimack, the Antique Toy Museum. I don't know if you can see that or not. And here they have all the antique toys. On the sign it says, welcome, I'll come over to the sign right over here. Just come on with me. Welcome to Main Street of America, Route 66. It also is closed. If you were ever a kid, toy museum, come to the toy museum. That's what that sign says. So you can come on down here, Jesse James, Merrimack Caverns, camping, and the antique toy museum await you on Route 66. I don't even know if they have toys in there. That looks abandoned. Right here in, uh, where are we? 